Hey everybody, what's going on? Slim Anthem here, and we are playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, the 22, 2022 release of Call of Duty. And I'm really excited that we're finally getting to play it, because I know that this game has been hyped up for quite, a, quite some time, and I played a little bit of the beta, but not a whole lot. But I'm surprised that I actually got the game when I did, because I made the mistake of ordering it online through GameStop instead of just going through the Xbox Marketplace. But what turned out to originally be a three to five day delivery um, ended up turning into the same day because I didn't think I would get the game the day that, that it was released. But I'm just now getting around to live streaming because yesterday I kind of wanted to feel it, feel it out a little bit, get to experience some of the multiplayer and plus I was a little pressed on time because I was going into work that night. I, it's same same situation tonight because I actually do have to work. Um, so I won't be playing this game a whole lot. Uh, this live stream will probably be an hour, maybe just underneath an hour. So yeah, it's going to be fairly short, but I don't want to draw this out too long. Um, just to give... A lot of people out there who are on the ropes and not quite sure if they want to get Modern Warfare 2 yet. Uh, just an opportunity to see the game and make a determination for themselves, like, if they want to end up buying it. And, fair warning, I am not great. Um, I haven't quite figured it out yet, this game. Like, there's a different, there's a different feel for every new Call of Duty game kind of have to develop your own strategy over time so fair warning I probably will suck but we'll just uh, do our best here and see how it goes I haven't quite figured out all the mechanics in this game yet um, it usually takes some time because I know that whenever I start playing a new multiplayer game I'm like huh what what the fuck's going on I just kind of go through I just kind of go through a whole process of trying to figure out like what the hell is happening and understanding all the mechanics like I know when Black Ops 2 first came out like that was I don't know why but it was so difficult for me to just kind of grasp the concept of it and understand what the hell was going on as I was playing so it took me probably at least a week before I figured it out I think it was just the futuristic aspect of it that just threw me off but here a lot more it's kind of tied into the game I, I did play on this map yesterday though, and I have enjoyed it, so I do like this map, um, haven't really played a whole lot of them because I probably got in like maybe four games yesterday, and that's about it, damn it. And I haven't really messed with any of my custom classes yet. This. This one that I'm using here is probably the only one that I've messed with currently. Um, so I may use it for a couple rounds and then maybe go back to one of the default classes just so I can show you some different weapons. But this is the M4 that I'm using. Uh, there's a lot of different things going on with the customizations in this game, so it'll be a bit before I can figure all that stuff out. Because there's stuff like, you go in to modify a weapon and it said something about like, do you want to use this weapon as a template or something like that. It's kind of interesting. Warzone 2.0 should be coming out sometime closer to the end of the year. I know a lot of people are excited for that. I'm hoping that it does well. I'm not quite sure how I feel about few of the mechanics like for example you get three three circles that just keep keep getting smaller and smaller at the end of the game I'm not sure how I feel about that oh god I got stuck in the wall and he got me how's this look caught me with my pants down Oh 
Oh, fuck me. I should have just kept shooting. Damn it. I haven't quite figured out if there's a setting that enables you to play with people only on the same platform as you. Because I was looking around for that the other day because I don't like playing with PC players. But I couldn't find that setting. So I may have to do some digging around online to see if there is. Um, just because I just do not, like, I highly dislike playing with PC players. Because honestly, I feel like when you're playing on PC, you have a tactical advantage over anyone that plays on console. Oh my god, how embarrassing. And I absolutely did horrible. I had no idea that I only got five kills. The dude even spawned behind me too, like what the fuck? Oof. Yeah, not not my best game. my finest moment. Yeah, battle pass hasn't quite started yet. Um, I don't know if it shows you your KD anywhere in this game. I feel like it's missing some features, like, I don't know where you would go to view your your overall KD in the game and, and all that stuff. And if there's challenges that need to be completed. Right, let's mix it up here. I have played on this one though. I haven't quite figured out the best way to navigate this this map. And I haven't played the campaign either, but that will be happening soon. The thing I just really Oh, fuck. The thing I just don't really like about the fact that I ordered the game through, I pre-ordered it through GameStop, is that I missed out on most of the open beta. Because um, if you order it online through your actual platform, uh, you get like the code and everything to play it early. And then you would get access to play the campaign early as well. But I never got that when I ordered through GameStop. And then when I tried calling them to see if they could give me the code that was required for that, no one ever picked up the phone, so. Customer service at its finest in 2022. If you call in, no one is able to help you. I think I like the Fuck. Because I just hate guns that have a lot of recoil. The M4 has got a lot of kick to it, so it's going to be a bit of adjustment. Damn it. But yeah, I haven't modified my classes a whole lot. But over time, I'll 
I'll get into finding, uh, figuring out what best works for me. Just don't really have a whole lot of time lately because I've been working. I think he jumped in there. Yep. I don't see him anymore. A lot of people snipe too, and I absolutely hate that. Oh, fuck yeah, baby. Oh, it's that damn shock charge. Fucking damn it. In the first Modern Warfare, I, I liked uh, stimming myself up, just injecting myself with the stims while I kill people. That was like a trick shot for me. In this game, I think it'd be funny to like shock yourself with a shock charge and then um, while you're uncontrollably firing, you can just kill somebody. Fuck, I got stuck on a wall. I do plan on playing the campaign at some point when I'm next off work. So it'll be Monday going into Tuesday night. Or it'll be Monday night going into Tuesday morning. Triple kill, baby. Oh, fuck. Damn it. I had no idea what I was doing. I don't know if I'd like swapped weapons or if I ran out of ammo. But I just do not remember switching my weapon at all. Damn it. Kinda like the the uh the noise when you kill somebody. I might... That was a completely unnecessary prop to put there. I might switch it up and try like the classic Molliper 2 notification you get when you kill someone. But for now I'm just gonna stick with this. Jumped in the water.
found him. Oh, fuck. Oh, there's a guy in the door, damn it. For a moment, I thought he was the one who killed me. So you can't shoot underwater, I realize. Can you shoot people that are in the water though? When you're when you yourself is underwater, I don't think you can shoot anybody. But I'm not sure if you can shoot anybody that is in the, underwater. That's just the edit stuff on your guy. See, I don't think there's a barracks section where you can where you can view your like KD and challenges and stuff like that. That might be something they add later into the game, but I haven't seen that yet. Oh my god, I'm in the ground. Oh, I think I can cancel this. Nope. Just give me false hope. He was ready for me. He knew I would be there. He very well damn knew. Fuck. I didn't even check what my KD was last game, but that doesn't even matter. I try not to... I try not to think too much about my KD. It's just... I don't want... I just don't want a negative KD where I have what the fuck where I have less uh, kills than deaths. No, Every fucking time, I swear. Eventually, I'm just not going to like this map. 
I love how you can just throw the drill charges, like, so fucking far away. Because they look like something that would weigh at least 10 pounds, maybe 5. Maybe 5 or 10 pounds. But you just throw it so effortlessly, like it's lighter than a frag. Oh, I got this. Goodbye, bitch. What? How the fuck did none of them die? There were two guys there. Neither of them died. I don't know if I'm supposed to climb that. Damn it. I wish for once they would just take sniper rifles out of Call of Duty games. Hear that or make it like a kill streak or something. Or maybe you have to equip a perk. You have to use one of your perks in order to be able to possess a sniper rifle. And I don't know... Okay. And here's another thing too. So the damage is supposed to be realistic in this game. You clearly saw how many bullets I put into that guy. He didn't die. But yet, every time I get shot, people put in a couple bullets and then I die. Like, that's my critique with this game, is like, yeah, it's supposed to be realistic, but how fucking realistic is it when I'm putting in half a mag in somebody, they're not dying, and then they kill me with two shots? And then I instantly get fucked. Man, that thing goes fucking flying. Fuck, why do I have to deal with this bastard? Well, at least I got him. But 
but I've been trying so hard the past couple days to avoid spoilers for the new campaign, so I don't know much about it, and I'm trying to keep it that way because I don't want to see any spoilers. So it's going to be a legit first playthrough when I do live stream it. Because I have not live streamed a Call of Duty yet where it was a legit first playthrough. Because most of my campaigns have been uh, pre-recorded after I had been playing the campaign numerous times. And then when I first live streamed a campaign, I did it for like the second half of of Modern Warfare 1. Because that was around the time where I had started doing it for that game. But then... On. But then I started, I, I started pre-recording my missions, but then after that, like in the middle of that, that's when I went to streaming full-time. Triple kill. Um, so that wasn't a legit first, first playthrough, because I had played that campaign a couple times at that point. And then when I did it for Black Ops Cold War, I had already actually played the game. Or, or actually, I hadn't played it, but I had already seen gameplay and knew. Yep, too late. You're too late, buddy. I already The game already ended. That didn't count. Um, but like I had already seen the playthrough of it, so none of it was a surprise, even though that was a first actual playthrough of it for me. So it was a legit first playthrough. Hey, I actually went positive. Um, but yeah, that that didn't really count because I had already seen people play it online, so I knew what to expect. This will be different because this will be my actual first playthrough of this campaign, and I don't know what to expect. We got a ton of spoilers for that. So it'll be a lot of fun. Um, I've already heard good things about it from what I have heard. I heard that the graphics are amazing and that the story seems to be good, so that's all good stuff. My goal is to rank up all the way in this game before Season 1 begins for this. I don't know when that launches though, that might be next, that could be in November or December. All right, last game. Last game, and then I should probably get ready for work. Fucking do this! Oh god, no, let's let's do not do this. Yeah, let's go back to my OG class. The one that has hundred percent inaccuracy. Completely inaccurate. So much recoil. And of course, I'm already going to get absolutely fucked on this map because I haven't even played on it yet. Why would this be the default reticle, though? The U dot. teammate they kind of toned down on the motion blur in this game
never saw him. Oh my god, I actually hit that. That was a perfect throw. even looking at him too. I probably could have killed his ass. My brother did warn me though that when you play multiplayer in this game, you kind of have to utilize every edit, like take the cover, all that stuff. Oh, come on! I think I got him with the grenade though. I got hit with that 125 points. Where the fuck did he get shot from? Is that him? Yeah, I guess I guess he got around in time. I do plan on uploading quite a bit for this game though. May not always be multiplayer, but Definitely gonna try out co-op at some time. I'm hoping co-op isn't as difficult as Modern Warfare was. Cause I don't know why, but the missions were just so difficult to do in that game. got a triple. Oh, baby. I just spawned, dude. I chill the fuck out. Why 
the fuck would you spawn me here? You stupid fuck. They spawn me in the line of fire. I like the layout of this map, but it's gonna take some getting used to. Yikes. Thanks for joining me with this live stream. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, I will be playing some more Call of Duty over time, but I just wanted to play a little bit for you guys here on stream. But thanks for watching. As always, I will catch you all later. See you.